Good evening, good morning. In this video, we're going to go over uh, February 8th, 2023 execution from ICT's Twitter. Uh, for video quality purposes, I've just downloaded it. Okay. So, we're on the E-mini S&P 500. It is a one-minute chart, um, and this was FOMC. So, let's see where his first, first execution comes in. First execution comes in right there at 41.55 three quarters as the market forms that bearish order block. We're drawing into the first set of lows and the second set of lows. Okay, so his take profit is gonna go at the the first, like where he puts on the take profit, comes in, um, let me, so you can see that the first the first take profit comes in at the new week opening gap low. Okay. As the market trades down, he's he's noting that the buy side liquidity had already been had already been taken out, so the market was more likely to draw down to the sell side. It says retail is trapped long, net long as a whole heavy seek for sell side liquidity is underway now. So it sees the market uh, takes out that sell side liquidity there at uh, 41.49.75. Notice that five contracts come off. Okay, it's drawing to new week opening gap high. Another five contracts are gonna come off. Now why is that? Well he's aiming for the lowest hanging fruit so the first set of lows was the first target and then new week opening gap might have been the drawn liquidity but he's aiming for the first target which is the high of it okay more contracts are coming off as he saw, as he saw that it traded to the consequent encroachment of the new week opening gap he took more contracts off because price could react there and we are going to see a reaction from price at the new week opening gap consequent encroachment and so that's uh yeah. So you see that he executed at the market on a bearish order block with a draw on liquidity to new week opening gap. So you can see that he doesn't exactly know where price is going to go. He has ideas and he aims most of the contracts. The bulk of his position comes off at the first target. Which is what you should be doing. You should be aiming for first targets, not for the furthest thing away that you think might be hit sometime in the future. You should aim for that very first thing that that's, has a very high probability of success. Notice that he's not entering in on a limit order. He just hits it at the market. Pays the spread, hits it at the market. And he's going to end up getting stopped out. And he says, my stop is above that volume imbalance. So you can see where his cursor is. That's uh, volume imbalance right there. And he ends up getting stopped out there. So, 15 contracts came on at 41.55.75. That was as the market formed that bearish order block. And the contracts, most of the contracts came off at the first sell side liquidity at 41.49.75. I think he might have taken some off there at 41.52.75 as well. Uh, and then the remaining contracts came off at the new week opening gap high, which is the top side of an inefficiency. And then uh, three contracts came off on a stop, he, which he put right above that volume imbalance. So once he saw that the market was busting back PD rays to the opposite side, he was flat. Okay. And this is February 22nd now, 2023, execution. So, we are on the E-mini S&P 500. We're on a one-minute chart. 
Now, what do we see here? What is that red box? That red box is a sell side imbalance, buy side inefficiency. Now notice also where my cursor is that the market had already taken out buy side. And I think he has that noted as well. The best entries are taken after stops are taken. So he's the buy side had already been uh, purged there. The market made that leg lower, purged out, purged sell side. And it, as the market came back into this sell side imbalance, buy side inefficiency, he got short at the market at 40, uh, 4,014.50. Now, in addition to that being a SIBI box, notice that that's also ICT bearish order block that price retrades back into. Okay? So he's short at the market. Okay, he's short six contracts. Now the second box is another SIBI. And three contracts, meaning half the position, comes off at sell side liquidity. Okay, so that 4,000 low, that's where the first three contracts are going to come off. Always aiming for those first targets. That's 14 points. 14 and a half points. Bang, right? Three contracts are off. And he bought it back at 39.98.25. So uh, he exited at the market. He exited at the market on a partial as the market came into that first pool of sell side liquidity. You could have also exited on a limit right at the sell side. Okay, measured move. What is that a measured move of? It's the measured move of that uh, price leg, basically. Okay, so there's a, a SIBI, bang. Look at that reaction off that SIBI right there. Of course, this is sped up, guys. He sped this up, so this would be like over a 20-minute time frame, just so you know. Okay, another one minute, another contract comes off as the market draws lower. Another SIBI, real dump lowers incoming, big down candles incoming, he says. More sell-side liquidity is about to be purged. Retail bottom trap lower is still coming. And he's flat. Oh, he got short again. Short again. Okay. Wow. So what was that execution? That execution is going to be on that SIBI kind of as it forms. It's also, uh, yeah, bear sorter block. You can see he's got, he's got it drawn out of the lines. Bear sorter block, inverted fair value gap. More, more executions on the SIBI, another purge of sell side liquidity, and then it, now he's getting out. And you notice that he's hovering on the buy market, right? He's hovering on the buy market to exit quickly. Okay, he's out three. Only got contracts on now for the best case scenario. He's out. He's got one contract left. And that was it. That was the February 22nd, 2023 execution. So, all right, guys. In this video, we covered um, February, February tw uh, 8th and February 22nd, 2023. In the next video, we're going to go through February 24th and February 28th.